So it's been about a month since I posted that video about Ready or Not, and Void Interactive finally got back to me. But before I actually talk about that, let me talk about the questions that I actually asked them. I just wanted to ask a little more about Ready or Not, or Ron as you put it, because I put out a video about our conversation and it seemed to have gotten a big response. Link below. So I thought I would start with what position you work at. Are you the director or do you work at another position? Is this game going to be the successor to the SWAT series? Because I have seen many people say that it was going to be. And if so, how strict will the game actually be? Because in SWAT, you literally have to wait until they point the gun at you all the while screaming at them. Another thing to add, are there going to be commands in the game? Are you going to have an option to switch to another voice actor, male or female? Customization. What will we be allowed to customize? Weapons. What kind of weapons are we going to have? How many can we hold? Like two guns and a sidearm? If there is going to be a leveling system, is it going to be like Rainbow Six Vegas 2 where when you level up you unlock different types of accessories? Mechanics. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like SWAT, but I'll ask anyway. What kind of mechanics are you going to implement? Multiplayer. Personally, I don't think that this game would need PvP. PvE is fine for me, but I'm sure there are some people out there that are hoping for some kind of implementation. Would you put that in or leave it out? And if yes, how would that work? How big are the maps going to be? Are there any that are outside? Please reply to me, I want this game to succeed. Do-rag. And this is what he said to me. Hi, Do-rag. Thank you for your email and posting about our game. We have had a few inquiries that have mentioned you. Thanks. While I cannot answer all your questions today, we will be posting a new dev block soon, all of which will address the content of your questions. I am sure you can appreciate that it is very time consuming to answer every email we get. We also have to keep the information generic. Also, we have to make sure that information about our exciting project doesn't leak at the wrong time or through the wrong channels. Thanks again for your support. Cheers the team at void so this is something that businesses do all the time they play coy coy meaning reluctant to give details especially about something regarded as sensitive um, and you know that's okay um, I just really wish that the company would actually be more transparent with us but there's something but maybe there's something that's legally binding them from actually, you know, talking to us. You know, I can't get a straight answer from them, so that's probably the reason why. But I've been watching their YouTube, their Facebook, their Twitter, their website like a hawk. So if there's any more content, like they said about the dev blog, uh, then I'll be all over it. Like, you'll know from me right away. I think the last thing that I want to say is just not to send them any death threats or anything like that. Um, I was going to start up a hashtag... You know, is it ready or not? But I just, I don't know. I don't want to rush them. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't, don't pull out your pitchforks or anything like that. Um, continue to message them, you know, encourage them to keep working. Encourage them to keep working. Don't don't send any death threats or anything like that. Come on, let's be professional about this, people. This is Durag, signing out.